Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David, I'm riding a trike. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I ride a recumbent trike and try to give a little motivation to those suffering with chronic illness to get up and do something, something fun, to enjoy themselves. Sometimes it takes a lot of effort, but it's usually worth it. Personally, I was a type 1 diabetic from the time I was a year and a half old until I was 41. I've had two kidney transplants, a pancreas transplant, cancer, I'm blind in one eye, don't see very well out of the other, and those are just the tip of the iceberg. About a month ago, I celebrated two anniversaries for two different organ transplants I had. On your left, both my second kidney transplant as well as my pancreas transplant are just about a week apart, although they were done in, in separate years. And it made me think about the trade-offs there are for, you know, these were good surgeries, good things to have done, life-saving as a matter of fact. But the negative trade-offs were that in order for me to receive a pancreas transplant, my pancreas came from a 17-year-old girl who was killed in a car crash. Her name was Kristen Frank. I'll put a link up here to a video about her. The other downside of an organ transplant, while it's life-saving, you have to take immunosuppressive drugs for the rest of your life. And they're pretty powerful. And they leave you open to lots more diseases. And I've had a bunch of them. Doctors think even my cancer was probably caused because I'm immunosuppressed. But you got to take the good with the bad. On the other hand, a seemingly bad situation can also have good side effects. An example of that, I guess, would be losing most of my vision. I am borderline low vision and legally blind. And the upside is I've noticed that, and you've probably heard people mentioned this before. It's not that my hearing has gotten better, but for lack of a better term, it's somewhat retuned. I've become much better at recognizing voices. When I watch TV or see a movie, it's very difficult for me to make out the character's face to know who it is, but I recognize the voice and other noises to other sounds. I've become really good at distinguishing what I'm listening to. True, it took me about 40 years to get to that point, but I'm there. <laughs> and then there's kind of an overall, you know, all all the medical situations, hurdles, obstacles, whatever you want to call them, I think they've had an overall effect on my life. A few years ago, I was in the hosp hospital with something called blastomycosis. And I really thought, the doctors thought, there was a pretty good chance I wasn't going to make it. And obviously I did. But 
after that, I seem to come out of it with a new perspective. It's not that I didn't love my family and friends before, but that love grew in a, a different way. And I, I can't put it into words, but I have so much more appreciation for what I have around me. After all these illnesses and trials, I think I've also become a more thoughtful person. And not thoughtful as in, oh look, I bought you flowers, kind of thoughtful. Rather, I don't do many things right off the cuff. I consider things a lot more. I don't jump to conclusions. I don't assume as much. And true, a lot of these things may also come with age. That's certainly a possibility. But I really do think a large chunk of it, in my case, has come from the things I've been through. And it's not always so easy to see these positives that come from negative events. You have to sometimes step back and take a look at yourself and at your life from a different angle, a different perspective. Like the song lyric says, once in a while you can get shown the light in the strangest of places if you look at it right. Those of you who know the song know what I'm talking about. The others can Google it. I'll show you some nice scenery as uh, we're headed out. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's about it for this ride. If you could, please press and poke those like and subscribe buttons and prod that notification bell. That's it for now. I will see you on the next ride. Bye-bye.